and a distressing turn of events on the football field. Cleveland Browns running back Nick Chubb suffered a severe knee injury during a recent game, leaving fans and experts concerned about his future in the sport. The extent of the injury was so gruesome that even ESPN decided not to replay the tackle that caused it during their broadcast. The Cleveland Browns quickly announced that Chubb's season is likely overdue to the severity of the injury. This devastating blow has left Chubb with a daunting path to recovery, made even more challenging by the fact that this isn't his first serious injury to his left knee. He previously experienced a similar injury in 2015 during his time at the University of Georgia. Dr. Tom Christ a physical therapy specialist and co-host of the Fantasy Injury Team podcast, shed light on the hurdles Chubb will face in his recovery. According to Christ, if the new injury is to the same tissues that were previously repaired, the quality of the tissue might not be as ideal the second time around, especially considering Chubb's age of 27, which is considered relatively older for NFL running backs. Christ pointed out, that there's now a possibility of early onset arthritis for Chubb. Moreover, the nature and extent of the damage to his knee will significantly impact the initial stages of his rehabilitation. If, for example, the meniscus or posterior cruciate ligament is involved, it will limit his range of motion during the early stages of recovery, potentially leading to scar tissue development, making it even harder to regain motion. While Chubb possesses remarkable strength and athleticism, recovering his original strength will be an arduous process. His game relies heavily on power, and regaining that power is crucial for him to return to an elite level in the NFL. Achieving this level of recovery can take over a year in most cases. Chubb's position as a running back also poses specific challenges in his rehabilitation. Running backs are known for their stop-and-go movements and rapid changes in direction, which are particularly challenging to regain after an ACL injury. This aspect of recovery is often more difficult for running backs compared to wide receivers, whose positions involve more predictable movements. Overall, Chubb's journey to recovery appears to be an uphill battle. While it's not definitive that his career is over, the road back to playing elite football will undoubtedly be a daunting one. Dr. Christ emphasized that it's possible for Chubb to be productive again in the NFL. But the challenges ahead are substantial, and the running back certainly has his work cut out for him.